This is Matt from Tooth and Nail Armory. Today we're going to be installing the Tooth and Nail Armory Plus 2 tube extension on the UTS 15 shotgun. We've got one here. Uh, it will come with tube extension, two bolts, short barrel extension. All you will need to do is to install is a 5 millimeter Allen wrench, piece of sandpaper. I got a ratty old piece here and a file. You can do it without the file, but it might make it a little bit easier. So, first thing you do is make sure your gun is empty. Uh, check both tubes. If she's empty, take your... Uh, in this case, we've got a one of our tooth and nail armor breaching chokes in there. Remove that. Take your Allen wrench and remove the magazine tube end cap be careful there is spring pressure under here so you can see it's not a tremendous amount you can hold it by with one finger but there is springs under here and if you don't watch it it might come out and smack you in the face you don't want that to happen so remove your end cap set that aside that will not be used take your springs out you should be able to Get the followers, magazine tube followers, sometimes you'll have to pop them loose there. And here's where the sandpaper in the file comes in. This is an old, one of the first models of the UTS. Uh, and the, the magazine tube followers have got some sharp edges here and here. As well as this uh, has been buffed and ground down this little uh, indexing tab. Basically, what you want to do is take your sandpaper and round these edges off on the front and the back. Some of the later models are a little more rounded. These are pretty sharp, but it's pretty simple to do. Just do something like that and make a nice rounded edge on there. I've already done a little bit on this one, so uh, speed the process up. So you round this edge and also the back edge here. Take your file and from the factory this will have a square edge right there. You want to round that slightly on each side here as well as on the back side there. So that will make the transition between the tube extension and the original tube on the gun. So if there's any sharp edges there you can get some, some hang up of the follower in there. Uh, there has been a few few uh, firearms that we had to actually do a slight chamfer around the edges here. There hasn't been many. We made some changes to to this uh, tube extension to hopefully do away with that. And uh, but you still may have to do that depending on what you have out there. All right. So you got both of your followers chamfered on each side. A little indexing tab is rounded so put them back in uh, at this point you probably want to make sure and close these doors that way it will allow the tube uh, the follower to go on down further in the tube which will decrease your spring pressure required to put it back together hopefully Uh, probably, I guess I should have installed these bolts beforehand, but that's not too long there. Line your springs up in the tube extension, place it down. There's little tabs that go over the factory side pieces there and tighten it up. The one thing you want to make sure of when you tighten this, we recommend 15 inch pounds because this is a polymer piece. And if you go all crazy and put the old Gorilla Grip and tighten them down, you can break this piece. So it, they don't, we've not had any problems with them coming loose. So we recommend about 15 inch pounds. Once you get one snug, then that'll hold the spring pressure no problem. Tighten that up. 
and if you want an idea of what you don't have a torque wrench well, I've done this enough I pretty much got it by feel you can see just two fingers and just slightly snug is probably going to be around 15 inch pounds so you can see not much pressure at all good and snug take your barrel extension uh, we recommend put a little bit of choke grease or anti-seize on here uh, I haven't done it on this one but we're not shooting it yet so we will thread that into the barrel snug that down same way with the choke put a little bit of anti-seize or choke grease on the threads thread that in the barrel that will hopefully keep you from having a seized choke some people leave a choke in there for years at a time and you can get uh, where they will actually seize in the barrel if you change chokes pretty regular that's not a problem but uh, if you're the type of guy that puts a choke in and leaves it you definitely want to put a little bit of choke grease or anti-seize on there so you can get the choke out at a later date there you have it uh, plus two extension and the tooth and nail armory breaching choke there on the end but uh, time to load it up and have some fun if you do occasionally get when you first test it out if you get if the follower is hanging in this transition you need to take it apart and round those edges slightly more until it passes freely in between there so there you have it. Um, this is Matt from Tooth Nail Armory. Enjoy your shooting, your new UTS 17.